Yo, everybody, what's up? Lestatus, thanks for the 100 bits. Early, yo, indeed. Hey, uh, Vesley, Alex, Yenzano, Phil, Dallara. Uh, I actually need to restart. Our start, it looks like. Hey, Elimilissimo, Gutierrez, Swagger, Phil, I think I said, level 100. I just got done watching the uh, Xbox showcase thingy. Why do I have a little green screen popping out there? Oh, I've been doing that lately. Whatever. Starfield gameplay reveal. Uh, man, they really buried the lead in that gameplay gameplay reveal. It was like, oh, we've got this guy walking around real slow on a planet. This gray, lifeless planet. Oh, but he's scanning a rock. I was like, this is just like a bad no man's sky. What is happening? It was so boring. And then they kicked it into high gear a little bit, like, you know, but you know, they showed like cool stuff like thousand planets. You can all explore all over land anywhere. Explore a thousand planets, ship customization, cool story. Uh, you know, it, it definitely picked up speed, but man, that opening was slow. It's like, oh, he's getting out of the ship. He's walking very slowly. Oh, there's a gray rock. Let me scan that gray rock. Oh, the rock has been scanned. <laughs> it's like, this is the Starfield. We're all been waiting 10 years for this. We're so hyped. He's scanning the rock, boys. We did it. I don't know why they opened with that instead of like the awesome, crazy, like cool stuff they showed later. So I don't know. It looked okay. Uh, it's really 600 bits. Uh, Neptune on turn one. Wow, that sounds painful, dude. Can't even win with a turn one Neptulon anymore, man. Hey, Mr. British Dinosaur, dude. Thanks for the 42 months. What's up? Uh, I don't know if I said a yo. Yeah, I might have missed the yo. Oh my god, we wanted to try this last time, and I didn't get to. Spell damage. Well, we did try, but we sucked. We didn't build it right. Spell damage, death rattle. Death rattle, spell damage, Mage rogue. Rogue mage. Rage. That's what it should be called. Rogue and mage. Rage. It was a spell damage. We wanted more spells, but we wanted ways to copy death rattles for Aegwyn and then have a ton of spell damage, right? That was the idea. Uh, did we want to put other death rattle stuff in there? I don't know. Moog. Moog's good too. Moog. Rage and Moog. I like that as well. It's funny. Uh, okay. Any other like good spell damage cards to support this stuff? Cram Session's kind of insane with spell damage, right? It scales really nicely. Raz could be kind of cool with spell damage, right? Like, I, I don't want to run too many other death rattles. I really just want the egg win, but that's kind of cool idea. And then, of course, I need actual damage spells, of which between Mage and Rogue, surely I'll find some. Anything that scales especially well as a face damage card that's going to help us out here for either. I mean, just like Wicked Stabs and stuff obviously makes some sense. Uh, like Frostbolts. Might rather run like a Rune Orb to have some flexibility, I suppose. Things that can go face, but maybe also have some kind of utility. There's always like flame strikes as well. What else do you guys like? Bizarre burglary? What? Wait, what is that? Bizarre burglary? Oh, no, I don't think we need this. We're not really going to be doing thievery stuff. I, I was thinking of the Bizarre Mugger card when you said that. I was like, that's not the name of that card. Uh, hey, Nuke, thanks for hanging out. Hey, Fight Card, Jerome, Mr. British with 42 months again. That's insane. Uh, so I think we also want card draw. We want... What else do we want? We want... I don't know. More spell damage synergy. Did I, was there any other spell damage synergy available in this pool for duels? I doubt it. There's like that stuff that gets 
bigger with spell damage, but that's not really available. This is always kind of cool with um, Aegwin when you hit it. I mean, because you get double the Aegwin buff since you're summoning a copy of it, and it procs itself with Aegwin. So you can, you know, if you get like three or four Aegwins rolling, then this becomes a monster card. It's just six mana. It's so expensive for duels. Like, is that really the finisher we're looking for? I think I'd rather have, you know, obviously another damage card, like I said. And then maybe just, uh, I mean, honestly, like a Sinister Strike's pretty good. It's not bad. Tooth is actually pretty good. Again, kind of a utility card that can also just go face pretty efficiently. Garot historically has been okay, but might be a little hard for us to draw the things and proc that. I don't know. Want, I want, like, utility bundled in, you know? Whoops. And the good news with this kind of plan is, too, this can often win games early just in its own right. Like, this game plan can just, can just smork people sometimes, you know? Torch is, like, eh, I don't know. I don't really want to shuffle stuff into the deck in duels. Usually you want to draw your good cards, not, not shuffle other cards in, you know? Maybe just a fireball is fine. That's kind of in a pinch removal too sometimes. And then I probably want some like stall cards. Stuff that like stalls or gives me life. Uh, Evoker is not going to be good. Artificer is probably not going to be good. Oh, stuff like, well, not armor vendor, I guess, because I don't really want to heal my opponent. I want to deal damage to them. Frost spell gain five. I mean, I have a few, but hey, Kirsten Lopez, what's up? Uh, Dawn Grasp is probably not terrible. Hero card Dawn Grasp, that is. Whoops, Dawn Grasp. Uh, I mean, a lot of these can backfire, though. A lot of these can hit me in the face. Is there a good shadow spell we could run? <sighs> Ooh, Mask of Cthune. That's a good way to deal damage with Dawn Grasp, I guess. Not especially good for our spell damage plan because... Well, I'll tell you what else. We, we don't actually have a lot of minions right now. I kind of need low-cost minions that I can use to get the buff because currently I'm just going to draw all spells. Yeah, I definitely need more low-cost minions. I think I have to run other Death Rattle minions too because... I'm not always going to have Lieutenant and uh, Unearth Raptor Aegwin plays, right? Like, sometimes I'm going to need... I'm going to need other Death Rattles to interact with those a little more. Lillian's kind of good at going face. Hey, Shadow, man. Thanks for the tier one. I said I, said I need some Shadow, and you just appeared. You know what we could do is, like, a Kobold Sand Trooper package to support this? Wow, I kind of like that. Like, Leper Gnomes, just more unavoidable damage. Oh, my God, dude. This is a filthy deck now. Oh, no, dude. This got gross. Oh, this kind of got evil, dude. I don't know. Naval Mine's a little bit harder to proc. I, I'd have to kill it with my own cards. I'm not actually sure I want the Naval Mine in this case. Isn't there the uh, Old Doom one? Or is that what I got? Yeah, I got the Old Doom one. Isn't there one more of these? <sighs> maybe just, maybe Naval Mine and Umongous Owl only? Okay, that's probably still fine. Yeah, there's a priest one, yeah. Do I run, um... Graveyard? For some of these death rattles? Oh my god, dude, this got, this got filthy all of a sudden. This is a gross deck now. I don't know if I feel good about this at all. Uh... Is Battle Totem still available? I haven't seen Battle Totem in forever. It might be ultra rare now. Graveyard is too slow. You think so? I don't know. Like, it's one of those where I spend three mana once, and then like the next turn, you know, I can still just play out leopard gnomes and sand troopers. Um, 
I, I'm actually okay with trying it. I'm gonna I'm gonna see how it goes. I need. Like a Lillian's not bad. Lillian can be four damage to face, right? It's just a little bit more tempo y too, which I like. I'm gonna try this. Oh, the weapon's really good though. Oh, yeah, I need the weapon too, yeah. Of course, yeah, 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 obviously. That's a ton of damage, yeah. And good death rattles for it too. Yeah, okay. This is, uh. Okay, so this is like a face. Death Rattle Mage. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. It's uh, it's either gonna just murder people. You know, this is the kind of deck that might go like three and three because it just gets like a few wins where it's just like, hey, real quick three. You know, you just murdered somebody. But also there will be people who have tons of health and just stabilize against us. As we get later and later, it's going to be harder and harder to deal that damage, right? So we'll need more like value to fill in. But, you know, if we get enough death rattle support or spell support, it's not impossible. Reno versus Reno. Face rattle mage. That's a good name. I was actually thinking about names using rattle. I was going to call it like spell rattle. Face rattle's kind of good too. I like that. I like getting the spell part of it in there though, because I feel like spells are such an important part of it. Um, I mean, this is the Aegwin support line, but is it going to be too slow in this first game? Should I just instead go for like you know, torch, frostbolt, sinister strike, and kill them kind of stuff? Uh, I don't know. Okay, that's actually a sort of indicator of a fairly slow game plan. It's going to take them a while to play enough spells, so I can probably take this one a little slower. Um, Lieutenant into Lillian actually might just be better than Lieutenant into Aegwin, though. That's just so much good curve, number one, and like just so much pressure. The dead never rest. I mean, this thing could ruin that like let's see if they can snipe this or not but if not that feels like a what was the what was the what was the oh god that was arcane that must be a fire secret then no no so that feels like an explosive runes i guess uh i'm really sad now I mean, this is like five damage. This is already six damage. That's 11. This is another five. That's 16. If this isn't explosive runes, though, the Lillian here just does do some damage, which is kind of nice, right? I don't know. I'm at 11 as well, though. They went much faster than I thought. If they were going to keep these, like, burn cards, I might have just mulliganed away. I mean, I guess they really haven't played that many burn cards. I don't know. Whatever the case. We got to catch up some. This with Gram Sessions is insane, by the way. Like, you kind of almost have to run this, I feel like. Don't hit this. Miss it somehow. Miss it. Oh, God, so much extra damage. I'm dying! Uh, can't easily uh, combo that right now, so... Is it just dead next turn? No, it's only five and four. It's only nine. If this worked on all spells, of course, would be good. All right. I'm going to need one more damage spell. Sinister Strike. That's about it, really. Oh, my God. This race is on, dude. They have so much. I don't know if the Lillian was worth it in hindsight. I thought they were going to run out of damage and the Lillian would be like, you know, a net faster play for me. But ultimately, I took four to gain four, you know, like for four mana, I'm not sure that's a great exchange. It even gave them sort of a hero power as well. Oh, my God, dude. Good lord. I said I was going to have a long time. I didn't even get to turn five. <laughs> they faded me hard with quest. I thought, oh yeah, they're going to be taking their time to get quest done. Just, you know, 
Fill it in. Oh, obviously, this isn't even up for debate. That's insane. Spell damage plus one is gross. Uh, yeah, this looks pretty good. Shadow Strike, Shiv. I mean, there's some interesting stuff there. This is not it, but I think I think this spell package is just better for us. Luminary is not exactly super useful, but I think they need to increase the health in the beginning rounds. Um, I don't know. Lots of different kinds of decks do things, so there's something cool there, but yeah. Let's make dicks like this kind of scary good. I don't know. Good question. Reno versus Bran. Reno. I got your corner now. We're gonna be rich and save the world. I guess in some ways you don't want health going too far because God, I feel like I just want to burn face. Like last time I felt like I just, I don't know, the death rattle sand play didn't work. You don't want health going too far because you do have a limited number of cards. So some decks would just like gas out and it would like always be a fatigue thing if people had too much health, maybe. I don't think that's a huge risk, but maybe a little bit. Okay, secrets. All right. I have a ton of damage. These are all dealing six. That's already 18. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, okay. Seven damage, real chill. This is this is actually gross, dude. I, I feel bad about this. I kind of hope they win because this is evil. This is so gross, dude. This hand is so gross. <laughs> Is this lethal on four? I haven't even, I'm too scared to look. I'm almost certain it has to be. Uh, I guess this is technically better in case they have a weapon, eh? So yeah, this is six and four. Yeah, it's it's lethal, unfortunately. <laughs> it gets so gross, dude. Oh God, dude. Yeah, there's the weapon, okay. Oh. Oh, I even get honorable kill. <laughs> this is it going to make me? No, <laughs> no, I got damage off of it, too. I got frostbite. Oh, my God, dude, that's so dirty. Oh, I don't feel good about this at all. I don't think this should exist. Oh, boy, we're going to win games. Yeah, but I feel real bad. Oh, I guess we're just a damage deck. Uh, 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 combustion, I guess, is pretty good with spell damage, but, and I and Frostnev is good to like buy me time to find damage. But what the heck is that bone wraith? I guess same story. It can be, it can be a stall and nothing else. Oh God! I hope this deck loses. I don't want to have to play this. And like cram session two is so gross right now, dude. Like oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, like I can't if we get if what if we get the other spell damage the the ultra rare like uh spell damage oh my god don't do that game in that case I'll just ink card draw only probably witness the ways of my force Okay, um, I, I honestly think I can probably still get there with spells. You know, we're not gonna be able to do this in game like six or I don't know what health totals actually even max, but regardless, this early we I think we'll get there on on spells probably. Uh, okay, recycling is really good for them, honestly. Um, yeah, let's just wait. I don't want to throw a coin away just yet. Why do I hate winning? I I don't hate winning in and of itself. I hate winning with things that are, ugh, you know, not super fun for me. <laughs> yeah. Like, winning is great. Winning can be fun. Oh, my God. Okay. So this is actually a bit of a race. I don't know, man. Like they can keep healing off of that for at least one per turn. I'm kind of taking a gamble here. <laughs> dude, you can have fun and be fair, I think. I don't know. Grinzal, dude, thanks for the prime sub. Rudy, thanks for the beats. 
Idols of Elude. Oh my god, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? This is a tough race. I kind of almost need that Frost Nova, man. Like, they're hitting for eight. I'm only hitting for six. Uh, am I going to be able to win fast enough here? This is six next turn. Uh, they're at 14 on turn four. I don't have 14, right? I only have five and six, and they're getting even more. Oh, my God, dude. I'm going to die. I almost, like, need a... Like a freeze off this. Vanish is too not good enough. This is only eight. Bone Wraith gives him a million life is a problem with playing a Bone Wraith. Okay, well <laughs> we could easily be dead here to any buff. I they have ten already. Um I I hope we lose. It's only just. I guess a Raz would be pretty insane. Actually, I don't have mana for Raz yet, do I? No, not quite. Combustion would, uh, would that be enough to keep me alive? So is Torch enough to just win? It's gonna be eight plus four, not quite, no. Is Bone Wraith just lethal? Because they can just ping it and then hit. Yeah, Bone Wraith would be lethal. So Bone Wraith is definitely not the out. There's no draw off this that keeps me alive, right? Because Frost Nova is three and Barrier is three. I think we're just dead. I can't kill enough of these. Uh, Wand Thief into Arcane Explosion, I guess? Wand Thief into Arcane Explosion. I healed them a lot, but I'm alive, which is better than three <laughs> just how. <laughs> Listen, you just got to know your outs and play to them, OK? It's very simple. <laughs> I mean, there is a legitimate conversation about that, like knowing how your outs exist and playing to them, um, knowing how they exist. You'd go Leper instead? I don't know. I don't really want to give them minions because they can trade in. I want to play as few as possible, I think. But we'll see if we have enough damage, right? I don't know. We may regret that. I kind of need a Bone Wraith anyway now, so I might Bone Wraith Leper. Oh, God. They're just getting bigger and bigger every time. Aegwin's fine. So I might go here, power cram session here. I might just frost bolt the 4-4. Four, four. This game has shifted a little bit. Uh, I mean, theoretically, Bone Wraith is not lethal. There's ping, trade, they hit me for five, but I have some scary cards up it's there so now. Crazy. It just might work. It just might work. Oh, Raz is good for later, man. I don't technically have to hit this, right? But I also don't think I'm going to win this game in a few turns. I don't know. Like, we're going to have to maybe play off something else here. I'm not sure how to win right now. Probably just going to die to some choose one stuff, which that's just. I, I think that's OK. More life gain, sure. Oh, never mind. No, not life gain. They're going face. Oh, it's both. It's both. Never mind. It's both. Yeah, like I said, we're going to die to that. Uh, the choose one stuff always gives them like free damage every time. T Puzzle box. Wow, that's insane. Good play, man. I kind of have the bone wraith now, but I'm still just dead. Doesn't doesn't keep me alive. Uh, Frostbolt, uh, Rudorb, no, Frostbolt, Hero Power 6. I'm dead in that case. Am I just always dead? I don't see an out here. I mean, Rudorb can give you an out, I guess. Uh, this deals, f oh no, this, I need one damage off this. Is that, oh, here, well. Dude, I don't know, dude. I need. There's no good math here. No good math here. 
I can just frostbolt that, it's fine. Deep breath or blizzard? Uh, blizzard in case they go wider, I guess, right? Uh, okay, I don't know. This doesn't really do much, but I'm technically alive! <laughs> But no real path to victory here. There are 29, and obviously I'm in trouble. Recycling is our nemesis. I'm glad they won, though, honestly. The, I, the, number one, our deck is dirty. Number two, I got the filthiest discover ever. Like, that was gross. Uh... Oh, my. Uh, Deathly Death is far too inconsistent for us, right? It's like we're more of a spell deck. I think it's Orb of Revelation, um, but I don't know. Most of my spells don't really get discounted at all because it's not less than two, and most of my spells are already two. So... I actually almost, like, rally better in general, but I just don't have literally any battle cries. I, I don't know. This is a really weird package. <sighs> It, it might have to be Deathly Death. I don't. But. Th this this wording, the, the other, it doesn't ever trigger itself, right? It has to be a second death rattle on board. That is so likely to make an impact. So unlikely to make an impact. But I guess, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Ah. Uh... Yeah, this is actually really good. Unexpected Results is awesome for us, and Raz is awesome. Yeah, that's actually cool. Unexpected Results was the card I was looking for when we were building our deck, remember? God, I hope this loses. God, I hope this loses. I actually need to play some standard today, too. And we're going to do a little discussion later. We're going to talk about overrated cards. Overrated Sunken City cards, which I'm way behind on, but. <laughs> Deathly Death with Terran Gorfine. Ooh, that sounds fun, yeah. That would be a cool way to utilize it, maybe. Okay, Bomb Warrior. I guess the race is on again. I don't know, man. They have so much armor gain, though. I don't think I can win, right? How do I beat Bomb Warrior? There's no way. I don't have enough value or damage. I mean, I guess if I just draw a million magical torches, I can win, but... Or maybe if I win super early, but... This is the deck of armor gain. Thank God. Thank God. Rokara, most overrated card. Well, Rokara came out not in Voyage of the Sunken City, so Rokara would not be in the conversation. Also, how do you figure? Everybody thought Rokara was awful, the hero card, and it's now really good after getting buffed. I already did. I already did all the Rokara cards anyway. They would have already been in the previous video. Tome and Agatha's Embrace. Oh, weird. Okay. Rogue and Hunter. Okay. <laughs> we have the weirdest deck, dude. <laughs> uh, all right, Rogue and Hunter. Ice Trap would be kind of annoying, I guess, but maybe not the end of the world. I mean, if they don't have a lot of armor gain early, I'm going to go for this, right? Like, we're going to go for it. Okay, not an Ice Trap. We're going to try to race. Evasion's totally fine. We can kill them in like by turn five, maybe, right? It's not impossible. I wish Raz got buffed by uh, Relicologist, but I don't think it works that way, right? Relicologist. Uh, we go. They gained a little life, but we're going to go until we know otherwise. Like, this plan is the backup plan, right? Until we hear otherwise, we're going. 
Make him have it. This is another five. Oh my, okay. <laughs> the race is on. All right, let's bring it, dude. Bring it. Uh, bombs galore. Unexpected results, dude. Two five drops better? Um, I don't know. This deck's really good at removal, but yeah. Let's get two Raz Frost Whispers. Job done. There are at least five fives. That's that's ex nice expected result. Not a bad turn for five, four mana. I can take the hit. Shield Maiden. Okay, we're just gonna ignore that and go face, right? We don't care. Oh my, three five fives. Let's do this together, actually, though, right? Uh. You made me this. Okay. The dead never rest. We have no fear, dude. We just go face. We pretend nothing else exists. Dude, Molten Reflection with like a Raptor Aegwyn type play. Oh, that's fun. Uh, Better than prep or not? Prep could help me push a little more damage technically, but I don't know. I want the fun a play. I want the fun plays. Give me the fun ones. Uh... Okay, that's not terrible. Dude, if we could hit Aegwyn into Raz Frost Whisper, how sick would that be, man? Oh, oh, oh. I've learned, I've learned. I swear to God, I've learned. I swear to God. <laughs> My powers are never truly gone. So this is plus four spell damage if these both die. Uh, I don't have any spells currently though to utilize that. Uh, and I gotta hit a minion too, so we're not not exactly there yet. Could just go Raptor Molten Reflection here too though. Okay, that's that's a minion. Dude, am I better off just Molten Reflectioning this? Oh, this spell damage went off from Deathly Death. Oh my God. I just realized how, how much spell damage that has. Deathly death, dude. They can just play these together. Oh my God, dude, Raz is actually gonna shred. Oh my God, dude, what is Raz at? Eight! True mastery takes <laughs> He's an eight! Oh my God, yes, I dare you to kill these, please. Oh my God, I forgot about the deathly death, dude. It's so sick when there's two Aegwins out. Oh, please let me Molt Reflection this. Oh, let me Raptor and then Molt Reflection, please. Please. That's gotta kill Raz, right? It's almost lethal, my God. I kind of have to Frost Nova, I guess, right? Bomb, ugh. You could've went for a lethal off bombs, man. <gasps> oh, <laughs> <steadily tanked. laughs> I might have been able to get more by trading in the Aegwin. I don't know how it even works, but I don't need it, so I'm not gonna risk it. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, Deathly Death's the best card ever. Um, let's take Wand, I guess. Yeah, I mean, Blade is damage, which I do like, but I don't have a lot of health to just, like, tank that. The Elmish Army Knife can also be damage, to be fair. But I don't think I have great minions for it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have... I don't have great targets for it. So I think it Wand is, is just the best card. Uh, yeah, this is fine again, sure. More spells. This is some cool death rattle stuff, honestly, but I think it's too sneaky. I think we're still really a spell deck first and foremost, dude. That, 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 that was actually crazy, dude. That was so crazy, dude. <laughs> yeah, it is stupid and awesome, yeah. That's my tagline for the channel, really. Stupid and awesome. That's a good highlight, even if um, this deck doesn't turn into a full video. That was a cool little highlight game. Oh, 
Do we keep it again, dude? <laughs> I don't know. It's so hard to get like two of it going, but yeah, I mean, maybe. I don't know, dude. It's risky. I, I still kind of just like the face race plan a little bit better, but we can try. Reno looks so happy in his portrait. Yeah, we all just want to be Reno, man. Riding a camel, being happy. What do I think he's looking at? I think he sees some treasure, dude. Like all of us. He just sees some treasure out there. Maybe he sees Elise. Maybe it's just Elise he's looking at. I don't think we ever tempo a lot, partner. Seems way better later. Now, if I go for Deathly Death, it says trigger the death rattle of a friendly minion. Like that last board, I don't know how this works. Would it have procced all of the death rattles on the Kobold Sand Trooper, or would it have chosen one of its multiple death? Because it had like it had both Aegwin and its own death rattle. Would it have procced all of them or just one of them selectively? So in other words, could I have like traded in that 2-2 and gotten three damage to face as opposed to the two damage from spell? Surely all? I think that's my instinct as well. Usually those things do do all. Do do. <laughs> but, you know, I don't know for sure. So I probably could have gotten even one more damage last turn. Um... And, a, you know, another Aegwin buff. Obviously, that would not have been relevant at all, given that, that we had lethal, but pretty nuts. Unexpected results next turn is pretty good. It's a low impact board right now. Could even wait one more turn, but I don't think that's worth it for six drops, is it? Just play it out now. Then we have Aegwin on five. We haven't done any damage yet. This is a shockingly slow start for us, but hopefully we can recover it. No problem. We can do a lot all at once, as we found out, right? Wand could also be really nice against the death rattle stuff here. We find a wand later. Job's done. Okay. Death rattle there, not really relevant, but interesting nonetheless. Um, so Aegwyn probably comes down here. Not a lot of great Aegwyn synergies at the moment, just Aegwyn herself, but that's not terrible. Okay, that's really good. Did you trade the porcupine here, or small guys? Small guys, okay. Maybe they're gonna make the porcupine bigger later, who knows? Counterfeit blade, okay. My uh, unfortunately, I, I wonder if the death rattle from that idiot demon is in, in the blade pool. That might not be good. We would much prefer Aegwins to be in there. <laughs> Pretty sure they aren't counted as separate death rattles, just multiple effects that happen on the same death rattle. I like the way that's framed. Yeah, the way you framed that there, like the, the death rattle is the action of its dying, not the individual effects. Death rattle, all of these things, not death rattle thing, death rattle thing, death rattle thing, right? That makes sense to me. Oh my, this again, huh? Um, do we test the secret with Aegwin or do we just want to guarantee that Raz has a good hit here? I'm torn. I, I I don't think it's gonna be a freezing trap, is it? But it might be. At the same time, so it might crazy. be. Maybe we just yes, chill. Might work. Is this a slot over here, Kit? Okay, I'm fine with that. I think. Let's just chill. There's a two-one that's kind of annoying, but not that annoying. And then, I don't know. Might still be hard for them to deal with this board, right? So, but losing two spell damage would would reduce my ability to deal with that board effectively. So. Hopefully Razier can chill and stay alive. Um, seems like this is a possible snipe target for them, for sure. I, I could replay Aegwin for seven now, given a freezing trap, but... I don't know if that's going to be worth it. See what they do. Like, what they kill might give us clues on this secret as well, right? 
Dude, flow slate brand, add a random treasure to your hand. And on death rattle too. That's a sick death rattle minion to get, dude. That's cool. Basically get three treasures out of that. Don't hit this. Don't hit it. Now I can target the freezing trap with it. We just go, dude. I mean, how much damage do I have here? Actually, it's kind of insane. Oh, it says explode. See me after it's a lot. It's a very much a lot. They're at eight. I don't know what these treasures are, though. Obviously, it could be some big heals. Like, there's obviously risk inherent to this, but let's try. No, not graveyard yet. I just want to win soon if I can. Graveyard's kind of a three-turn line, right? I'm thinking if I had a spell in hand. Well, I mean, I would have had a spell in hand, I guess, to be fair. But anyway, I'm I'm thinking about winning quickly with this counterfeit blade and and the board. So we'll see if we regret that or not. Raz killed. Okay. Grabbing another treasure here. Butch! Dang, dude, Butch is big. Okay. Phelan, everything is so cheap right now. Oh my god. Sparking presence doing work. Alright, so I have five damage currently. This could be cool together, by the way. Devouring Swarm to kill that guy. Sure, sure. Unearthed Raptor. That's got the Aegwyn buff. Okay. Oh, yeah, we got the Jailer. That sucks. <laughs> great, uh, great numbers there, by the way. All right, so they have to heal or taunt, uh, or weapon will just kill them. So that's cool. Uh, Luxio, dude, thanks for the five months, man. Hey, Adium, thanks for the kind words. All right. Oh God, I need over the top damage. Oh crap, that was actually legit, really good colossal to get. I have a ton of that though, like that, for instance. Yay, we did it. Okay, I feel guilty still about this deck, but it's doing the things that we made it to do. I mean, I, I'll admit, I feel less guilty playing this ever since we got Deathly Death as like a garbage treasure. Although, uh, I mean, obviously it already won as a game, but you know, in theory, kind of a garbage treasure, I would say. Huh, this is, I don't know, does this do any cool death rattles? I mean, I could use it like kill off my leopard and stuff. I think the is just free though. I think free cards are better. I think this is just better. Just better. Oh, interesting damage package. Although we're probably better off with these razor petals to go face instead, right? Each of these kind of deal uh, four, really. Two at a base because of our robes. So this this is probably more damage, really, than, than the Leroy line. And just more, like... synergistic really like i don't you know i don't want to have a weapon really i don't i don't want to have to hold a cold blood forever that sort of stuff this just fits this goes over the top why is it free uh it's a free draw you don't have to draw it it's it's free in hand it, you, you always draw it extra so it doesn't like most treasures they take up another draw right like if i take whatever other card i don't know what was on offer but if i take a random card that's not this i have to draw it which means I lose what it would have been. There is an opportunity cost to its draw. This one comes in for free additionally to your hand, assuming you don't mulligan into it, so it's it's free. It's a free draw. Yeah, sorry if free is confusing. I don't mean from a mana standpoint. I mean from a uh, resource value standpoint.
versus Reno. We're gonna be rich and save the world. Save the world. Okay. Uh, the hand knows where it wants to go. I'm gonna keep this, honestly. The rune dorms pass some value back, so that's nice. We'll get we'll get other stuff. Let's make sure I get my henchmen too. Don't mess that up. Du, du, du. All right. Battle stance and robes of shrinking. Whoa, cool. Ever play this on two? I don't think so. Taunt can be a big deal later. Battle Saints actually would have been a pretty cool second passive for us, just getting two damage every turn, you know? Not that we have a lot of synergies for it, but it's just free chip damage. I'll take that. Now that people are 40 health, right? This is a much harder plan. Our deck is a, you know, I don't think we have like a lot of survivability or reactivity to like just ignore everything and go face. We have to kind of. I think weave in damage more so. That's why I like the rude door specifically, because they can still be like a value piece without, you know, we can still push damage, but, you know, we get something back. We don't sacrifice a ton. Stargazing. Oh my god. What's happening? My game just like froze or something. Are you serious, dude? Like, it feels like my opponent was frozen too, maybe. I, I don't understand this, dude. Ugh. <sighs> it's like every day on Battle.net, man. It's like, am I, is something happening specifically with like my internet type or, you know what I mean? Like, is there some cause to this? Like, is the interaction between Battle.net and my computer or internet causing this issue? You know what I mean? I'm trying to come back in. Last time it just kicked me out and I lost, so. We'll see. My game randomly disconnects too. Sorry, it was my fault. <laughs> okay. Uh, if we lost this run, oh my god, it's not bringing me back. I, I don't understand why it's not. Oh my god, that's frustrating, dude. Why doesn't it pull me back into the game even? Wait, did I win? That was two losses. I think my opponent also disconnected and also lost. And I won. Or maybe it was a draw? No, I got a win. What? <laughs> what is happening? It, it kicked both of us out of the game, I think. And maybe it kicked him out first. Maybe that's why he like wasn't attacking or interacting, right? Yeah, Ty, we wouldn't have got a card. We got a card offered, so it was a, it was a win. Dude, what on earth? It, it seemingly kicked both of us out. But I guess I don't know if his timed out faster or I don't know what happened. Reno versus Drek'thar. For the first Duels are randomly disconnecting people. All right. Yeah, I believe it. I certainly buy it. Uh, okay. Four wins, baby. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> we take the freebies. Well, last time it happened to me, one of you was in chat playing against me. You said uh, it just looked like I was just like AFK, even though it didn't let me back into the game. Like they were still in the game. So it's not like every time it's simultaneous or a dual DC like that. Whoa, flame waves, dude. Whoa, dude. I haven't seen flame waves forever, I feel like. Okay. Um, I like that we have a wand against this deck. Ugh. Dude, if I could run a moonbeam, we'd be in hog heaven. Moonbeam would be awesome for us. Uh, 
Okay, I probably gotta kill that, right? That's, uh, that's a little too gross, I think. Shooting star might be pretty important. Um, like, yeah, death rattles are cool, but uh, they're gonna have a lot of minions here I gotta react to, so. I need to be able to keep up. If they don't play anything significant or something that's small enough that the pillager looks good or nothing too threatening, I'd probably coin a pillager here. Get the coin back in theory, right? So. And if they don't kill it, I have a pretty nice raptor play too, I think. Get some coins. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing with the coins really just yet, but in theory. Deathly death with two death rattles on board is better too, right? Okay. It's not too threatening, actually. That's pretty good for a pillager. We'll try that. Henchman could be a good stall later. Wand is a good reset. Shooting star is a decent reset with, with you know, four damage, basically. That'll be nice. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, the captain is here, dude. Thanks for the six months sub. That's crazy. Uh, best time of the month. Aw, oh, thanks, man. Still weird seeing Pandaren as a 2-4. I agree, yeah. I, I I wonder if they'll change it back, like, once there are more rogue uh, spells in the pool or whatever that was, you know... Don't even remember all the details now, but yeah, rogue didn't have enough spells, so you could cheese it. I guess if they get enough spells, it will not be as cheesable, so... Maybe they'll change it. I don't know. Or maybe they'll leave it. Who knows? He's dead! They killed my boy. I think Counterfeit Blade here is pretty decent. Just kill the Murloc Holmes. Let's do note what they get here off the top. They are going to get a... Wand Thief. Okay, Wand Thief's not... I don't love them having a Wand Thief, but it's not maybe the end of the world. Okay, so two coins next turn. Anything cool I can do? Not really, man. Turn's kind of just... Eh, my hand is like, eh. Henchman's getting to be a pretty decent play. I sort of need a good death rattle, maybe. Like, an Aegwyn would be nice. I could Aegwyn into... Well, not, not Raptor yet, I guess. I don't think this is the wand yet, but... Looks like a decent shooting star. I I guess they could easily have a secret. We'll just attack, see if we can figure out what it is, maybe. I have room for this right Okay. Fireball or Torch? I actually sort of just like Fireball better. I think I have better draws than whatever Torch puts in, right? Uh, Didn't coin, but I can do that next turn for this secret. That's fine. Am I greeting this guy too much? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Nintendo, thank you for the Prime sub. Man, if the Nintendo themselves... <laughs> I'm not gonna read the rest of your name because I don't know what it means. It's it seems iffy, but thank you Nintendo for the sub. Greatly appreciated. Uh, Trudy six hundred bits. Do you want to build a wand thief? Do you want to build a wand thief? Uh. The whales of these covers. All right. Not a frost spell. Good news. Flame wave sucks though. Probably just take this trade, right? Um, they did play another secret, so getting a face attack through does have some merit for sure. Uh, let's just coin and see if we can figure anything out from that. Well, am I gonna actually utilize that coin though? Let's think. So crazy. Razor petal just is too. Could weave in one razor petal face, play a, that's, that's three, five, six. Eh. Could see if this is a, uh, 
Oasis ally. Nope. Okay. Well, I don't want to lose my razor, so let's throw out coin. Okay, sure. That kind of helps me fill this mana better anyway. So we haven't tested explosive yet on this one. Maybe we ought to play uh, just like a haunted creeper. Instead of throwing away the henchman, right? That would suck. Alright. Yeah, still not like my favorite hand. I mean, we're getting some damage together with these razor petals, like four each. Oh my, Mask of Gathoon just get ripped. Wow. Now that's something I did not expect. Time for the big boy. Time for the big boys. So this is nine and four is 13. Oh, Holger's a good hit right now, man. We're just not there yet on damage, right? I need, I don't know. I need better plays than what I got. These suck. I heard about the big YouTube drama recently. Uh, I don't know, actually. I don't think so. I heard about, um, like, Asmongold was talking about Twitch drama, and I feel like he maybe, like, mentioned some YouTube drama, but I didn't know what it was, maybe. Is it the same thing? I feel woefully uh, uninformed, which is atypical for me. Okay. Hopefully this actually doesn't get killed. I want to I want to wrap through it. Okay. Act man and quantum TV. No, I don't. Oh, I heard. So oh, 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 I did hear about that a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I did see. I did see uh, the one, the long haired Jesus dude talking about it. I can't think of his name right now. You all know him. The deep voice guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw something about it, but I didn't really know a ton. Uh, so, no, I guess I don't have any good insights, actually. No, but I did hear a little. Wow. Flame strike, flame strike. Whoa. OK. It's a lot of secrets, man. Moist Critical, thank you, yes. I, I saw there was a Moist Critical video. I watched like 30 seconds of it. <laughs> um, that's all I know. That's all I know. I wish I knew more. Uh, do I care more about this fireball going face or more about unexpected results? Uh, probably the fireball, honestly. So I'm going to throw this into the counter spell is the moral of that story. This feels like you could easily be explosive runes again. But it's okay. Oh, mirror entity. Wild. Okay. Well, I feel like I'm dying. I don't know. I need... I don't even know. Is torch not even enough, right? This is nine. I need another nine damage. I just don't see myself getting that. Oh my god, dude. These runes. Oh my god. I <laughs> need wand bad. That's a new secret, right? So... Uh... I have to t I have to throw the fireball in to play the wand, basically, is what I'm thinking, right? Do I ever attack with the Harrison in case it's barrier? It's like it costs me three damage if it's barrier, but there's a lot. There's a decent chance it's not barrier at the same time because there's just so many freaking secrets, right? I don't know. We got to think about. It. Oh my, Frostbolt face. Just to proc their guy there. That makes sense to me. <laughs> it's like here, Jesus, dude. Well, the, everybody figured it out based on my description, so I'd say it was a good description personally. Uh, yeah, let's just test here. I think it's probably a barrier, but I just need to know more information, right? Now, I think we have to fireball here because that could be a counter spell that was freshly played, right? It is not. Okay. Uh, duplicate. Oh, God. What's even first? The man crick dude? Okay. Well, we're not dead. We're not dead. 
but I also don't think I have any lethal outs either, right? I think I need two turns to win. I guess a rune orb into something. Oh, God dang it, dude. Oh, no. Oh, God. I don't even know which one this is. Oh, puzzle box. This could wreck them, actually. This could be good for us. If we lose, though, it's a heck of a way to go out. Oh, monkey roll's not bad. Didn't hit face, though. Don't have enough mana right now to play another one. Sigil of Flame. Touch! No healing there, though. Upgrade's good. Curse is really good. Man. Evolve is really good. Garrison could be good. That's dead. That's dead. Oh, that's not... Oh, it is dead. Yeah, this is a good face. It's not a savage bar. Okay. So they actually didn't answer the Harrison here. That... Mike, well, they can hit it, but they take five. Oh, that might answer it. Oh, no, Sigil of Flame, but that's at start of turn. Yeah, I'll actually be able to hit them. So this might give me some lethal outs. Oh, Flame Waves now, never mind, of course. Oh, my God, Magical Torch is so close to lethal, dude. I have to trust the Bone Wraith here? There's no way. <laughs> no, there's no way. It's gonna get Explosive Runes. Get explosive runes. I mean, as far as we know, we're alive, right? As far as we know, we're alive. Could be an ice block. That's true. Yeah, they are getting out of uh, secrets. Otherwise, I feel like rigged fair game would have proc at one point. I don't. I feel like there was that one turn I didn't hit face. Maybe. Oh my god, he had to hit. Okay. That's good news. Another freaking secret. Odra. Odra. <sighs> Arcane Luminary is the most dead draw. Like, where is cram session, dude? <laughs> this is GG, obviously. God dang it, dude. <laughs> what a garbage draw, dude. <laughs> what a garbage draw. Oh! Oh, I should have played it, maybe, because the Mancrick might win. Oh! Get him again. Oh, my God. If the Mancrick had won, we had a chance, dude. I mean, it still was alive. I don't think playing gets wrong, necessarily, but could have held it, maybe. Dude. That brawl could have saved me. Oh, they only had four after the brawl, so I would have been alive if, if the, if the Mancrick wins. What a weird run, dude. That was a fun deck. I, I don't really think, unless you get like perfect treasures that that plan is ever gonna work, but I'm glad we got to see that one game where it worked really well. The uh, the one Eggman game made that quite a, quite a highlight there. All right, so I wanna play a little standard. We're gonna do a bit of a discussion later. It's a short stream today, by the way. I only got like two hours, two and a half hours, but we wanted to do a little bit of standard. Um, that said, I'm, I'm, I was looking over like the kind of deck ideas remaining from the mini set. I just don't have that many ideas that are like super fun anymore. I, I don't know, man. I, I might need your guys' guidance a little bit. There were still some decks I, I didn't quite get through in the Sunken City world too. So there could be something there. Like I still wanted to explore some Reno decks, so on and so forth. Just uh, kind of poking around here a little bit. Like what's got a list here. Um, is there any, any deck idea any of you are personally really excited to think about? Like just start spitting out deck ideas real quick. I will ignore most of you, but just in case anything catches my eye. It, it's not uh, a personal offense, don't worry. It's just, uh, you know, I gotta think it's good for videos, something different than we've played. Du -du -du. Reno Quest Priest is on my list. I wanted to do a Reno Quest Priest with a new four drops. Moonbeam Druid. I heard Dexter talking about a Moonbeam Druid, but I didn't know what it was. Uh, 
Reno Taunt Quest and Azoth and Azoth Warrior. If we were in Wild, that does sound fun. Dude Paladin is on my list, RPG. That, that, that was actually at the top of my list today. I wanted to make a Dude Paladin with the new uh, Light Ray card and the new draw engine from the mini set. Um, so Quest Paladin. I feel like Quest Paladin is just something no one has played at all. And I thought that, that both this new card, Light Ray, costs one less for each Paladin card you've played. That's nice if you're playing a lot of one mana cards, right? Like you're playing them out really quickly. And then also, um, Myrmidon is kind of a good reload card too, because if you have the Holy Maki roll in this deck, which it's a one mana card for quest line, uh, I think you're pretty happy like as this, you know, you get to turn eight or something, maybe you just draw a few cards off this and you're like rolling, right? Because remember, Rise of the Occasion, play three different one cost cards. Now, obviously, Holy Mighty Roll doesn't do that by itself, but you could weave one in early for quest procs if you want. Uh, and then also have this kind of card to bail you out later as well. Now, we may find that this feels dead in hand a lot because we can only use it once, but I'm okay to maybe try that at least. <laughs> um... The other one mana cards uh, for Paladin I'm, I'm noticing aren't aren't great. We could do a secret package too, obviously. I don't think I love that. There are still some secret synergy cards, by the way, like Sword of the Fallen, Northwatch Commander, and Cannon Master Smithy, but I'm not actually sure if Smithy's even any good. <laughs> it's like, I don't think I want that. Um, is Reckoning worth it? I don't know. Dude, this is this is in the game, huh? I had no idea. Now, I didn't... Uh, I didn't have any Silverhand Recruit synergies. Is there any of those left? Yeah, Warhorse Trainer. Stand Against Darkness. But that's about it, man. This is not the best... Silver hand package, is it? But you could add a brand to buff them even more, right? And of course, your hero power alone is is something there. You could even add like a Zola too if you're really greedy. <laughs> you almost could. You could almost make this like a control deck in a weird way. I, that almost makes no sense, but in a in a strange way, you almost could. Lady Prester. Yeah, I, I know you guys saw the Mark video. <laughs> you guys always want me to do stuff you've seen in other videos. I'm assuming that's what happened in the Mark video anyway. I actually didn't watch it, but I saw the thumbnail. But that's the, the, the things that you've already seen in videos are the least exciting ideas to me because they've all you've already seen them in a video. So I don't I don't want the things you've already seen in a video. I want the stuff you haven't seen in a video yet. You know what I mean? Like I, I want something different. Carry out 100 percent Um Why? I feel like I'm gonna overwrite my hero power. The whole point is getting this cool new hero power. I don't think I want that. That would like ruin the deck. You guys you guys know how this works, right? We get a, a fancy new hero power. And it makes dudes that I want to use to win the game. And this gives me hero power that buffs an empty hand of minions. Bridge is a neat idea. Yeah, bridge could be an additional way to get um, some crazy tempo. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good idea. Just all all ASMR voice lines. Uh, Chromac thanks for the four months, man. It shows 35 or 30 cards. It does, yeah. There's a new feature. You can add extra cards. And then dial them back. Party up. I mean, in theory, you know, if we're running other token support... It's kind of a cool idea. I just think it's too expensive, probably, though. Thinking more like Sea Giant, maybe. Garden's Grace? I don't think I have enough holy spells to make that reliable, do I? 
I don't know. We we I need I almost need to cut more than I need to add right now. I feel like I don't I don't have enough card draw. I have just Myrmidon. I think one mana card draw would go a long way. Any other one mana ways to get cards? I have to kind of decide. Are these two mana, right? Yeah. I have to kind of decide what I want this deck to be. Obviously, right now we have way too many cards. I mean, the most obvious instinct is this is going to be a an aggro deck, right? Like, you want it to be an aggro deck. Um... Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. I actually don't know what the right number of things here is, but this feels like too many already. But there is this part of me that wants to build like a grindy control deck, to be honest. Like, there is a part of me that wants to build this like brand control quest paladin the, the problem of course is getting one drops to make sense in a control deck right two two adventures are one mana are they really some reason i thought they were two You are you one hundred percent sure? No, they're two mana, man. Two mana. So let's play it like this first, like it's an aggro deck. I gotta cut one more card, but we'll figure that out here in a second. Maybe the Zolus too greedy for aggro. Yeah, let's try it like this real quick. But I think what I'm gonna end up doing is making this, um. A control deck. Nogglings are one mana? That's a neat idea. School teacher, that could help fill in a control deck, yeah. I think I'll just have more fun if it's a control deck, right? And I think it'll make a better video, too. Uther versus Rexa. Yeah. I'm acting on instinct. Your judgment. Myrmidon, what's up, buddy? Uh, do we keep the Myrmidon early because we know we're gonna need the reload, or do we just try to hit one drops naturally? Let's let's go the organic way first, just trying to hit our one drops naturally. Blessed good seems like the best card maybe for us. What is the brand for? Uh, the quest reward. I want to give double buffs if I can. Maybe too late, maybe too slow. I don't know, but we're going to test it. That's the fun part. I don't know if coin's right, but let's hold. I have not seen a quest paladin in, like, forever. Uh, wondering if you're holding off on streaming Arclight Rumble for now. It's funny you say that. I actually played it, like, for real the first time yesterday. I gave it a go yesterday. I actually thought it was pretty fun, to be honest. Uh... I yeah, I was itching to play again. It's pretty fun. I, I kind of still hate the art style, like the 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 like opening sequence in the game. Just is like, oh, this is like too cutesy for me. But but uh, the actual gameplay and stuff. Once you're zoomed out, like the art style's not as you know cutesy and bothersome to me at least. I didn't feel like it made a difference. Um. If I'm going to use Maki Roll here, I should use it on the first part of this. It does feel a bit like a waste, though, when I have this Myrmidon in hand. I could go Myrmidon, but I only get one. I, th I think we just bless goods for now. I think we probably take the secret. Judgment of Justice would be really good. Noble Sack's not bad either, though. Just perhaps disrupt that again. I actually totally forgot what the rewards were here. <laughs> I totally forgot you got a weapon. Um, that's cool, though. Could maybe use that for weapon synergy stuff, like a puffer fist or something, right? As a reliable way to get a puffer fist. 
The problem now is I've like staggered the Maki roll where I don't actually have another one drop ready to go, you know? Like I need another one drop off the top now to get a good, good Myrmidon play. Yeah, that's unfortunately not a one drop, is it? So do I just draw anyway? Because who cares? Might get a one drop off of this. Just feels weird, right? I don't even hate coin stand against darkness either. It's obviously better once we finish uh, quest line, but. I don't know. Let's put this in. It's fine. Hopefully I get a one drop here. That makes sense. I think the question is, do I draw another card or do I complete quest? Stage two. I guess I just draw again. Like, I don't really need this. I don't have to use the Myrmidon to complete the quest line, right? Like, I, I'm better off getting... Or the, the Maki roll, I mean. I think I'm just better off getting some extra value here. So make sure we move the next step along, but it's really not that good. Maybe we go Dunbaldar Blast Goods into a stand on the following turn. But, I don't know. We're losing the board pretty hard here. Hey, Anko Vika, man. Thanks for the Prime sub. Here, guys. Yes, you're right. If we could get Sea Giant to one exactly, that would be beautiful, honestly, yeah. Is Bridge going to be enough to catch us up here? I don't know. We're still short on one, so I got to take a one here. Jewel Kit's not it. Repent. Okay, so stand Avenge is good next turn. I mean, I guess I could have a stand Sea Giant technically if they go wide enough here. Oh my god, is that actually enough? Oh no, he's gonna go to two. Oh man. I need them to play one more minion. Play a one drop. Play a one. For God's sake, play a one drop. Please. Oh, please, for God's sake, play a one drop. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh, the animation was delayed. I, I was going to say, he, like, the, the animation there was, like, a little delayed, right? I thought, oh, my God, is it actually going to work? <laughs> is he going to go? Oh, my God, we're almost dead. They got nine here. Uh, okay. I probably have to trade a little bit, right? We're not... Oh, Devouring Swarm. Okay, this hit first, maybe? Thoughts, all right. Oh god. Well, okay. Sea Giant's, sea Giant's free, I guess. <laughs> That's something. All right. Does that trade give them another like King Crush or something here? Yep. Man, oh man. This is a currently a good hit. But I'm also dying. How do they not proc the Scalping Savior? By the way, what actual jerks? I mean, I can do this when I'm just dying. What? Well, I mean, there's no... I need, like, Righteous Protector or something, right? I don't have a play here. I can play Cariel, but, like, to what end? I'm just dead. I can kill Crush. Um, And that's it. I can't... I can't really kill much else. I'm just dead on board. Well, let's do it because it's fun then. Oh, actually, this actually lets me kill more. Hold up. Is this enough to stay alive? Hold up. Hold up. This is a live update, so I get to kill more this way. God, I almost have lethal. I have 19 damage. That's crazy. Hey, I am technically alive, man. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm dead to hero power. Scratch that. Not alive. Dead to hero power. <laughs> Maybe they'll miss it. I don't know. Maybe they'll mess up Galloping Savior while BMing. I don't know. Oh, so close though, dude. Like, that was actually kind of better than I expected, honestly. That sort of felt good. Sort of felt good. 
Oh, joy. How did they never proc that savior, man? All right, I, I liked that more than I expected. I'll tell you though, I think I want to play this. I think I want to play this. Mana wasted, what? No. I used it to proc the quest. What are you guys talking about? I proc quest with it. I didn't know I was going to get. Well, actually, maybe I did know. Is every holy spell one mana? Oh, maybe I did. Maybe it is a mana waste. Actually, yeah, all my holy spells are one mana. So never mind. Yeah, you're right. I knew I was going to get a one mana spell. So I could have made it zero. That's true. That's true. What is the brand for? Uh, brand makes your battle cries trigger twice. So he's there to make my battle cries trigger twice. Um. All right, let's see. I think I'm gonna make this a control deck. I know that, but which battle cries? The ones in the deck. <laughs> let's think. Where? Let's see. Oh, here's a battle cry. That's really great. But what's the deck about? Let's see. That's quest. There's the word quest. What does the quest do? Let's think about what the quest does. I'm being sassy. What does the quest do? Oh, that's right. It makes this card. Which has this battle cry. <laughs> it's for the quest. <laughs> I'm being sassy because like five people have asked already. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to be so sassy. It's an innocent question. I'm just being rude. You got to let me get some sass out every once in a while. I think I would have make this a control deck more, though. I, I, I think I, I like the idea of having like a really grindy version of this. That's like slower paced and like more value oriented. That kind of encourages the Myrmidon a little more, the Light Ray perhaps a little more. But I just think I want like more card draw. Sassy Regis is your favorite. Yeah, I know. I just get frustrated sometimes. Forgive me, please. Hero carry all might make a little more sense in this, but still, of course, you know. A little awkward. Ivis makes more sense here, probably. Sir Finley could make some sense. Do, do, do. I mean, I don't even hate Mistress of Mixtures, right? I kind of want Paladin cards for Light Rays, though. What is the current draw package in Holy Paladin? Like, what are they using to draw cards? I played this deck to Legend, and I can't remember. Holy Paladin's card draw engine is... Well, Myrmidon now. Bannerman. Some tradables like City Tax, Knight of Anointment. They got a Battle Vicar in there. Battle Vicar's probably not a bad idea for us, because... It can turn into secrets and the Holy Maki rolls pretty reliably, and it's definitely more of a control card. Um, <laughs> so, what else do we like, guys? Um... If this is truly a control deck, do I go as far as running like equality? Do I run stuff like Flash of Light? Do I run... I would kind of like it if I could keep all my holy spells to one mana. That makes cards like Knight of Anointment much more interesting for questline. What did you guys say? Oh yeah, School Teacher gave us one mana cards. That's a really good idea. Uh, actually, Queen Ashara can give us one mana cards as well. In other words, like we're slowing the quest down a little bit, so I don't need... I don't need as rapid of three as of one mana cards, right? I think I'm gonna try to find them in other ways. What else can generate one mana cards? Hey, do better, man. Thanks for the prime sub. 
Anything else that generates one mana cards that's really good for us. So that I don't have to waste all my mana, right? Maybe we go city tax equality. That feels a bit better to me for the sake of uh, tradable. Wandmaker would be a good example, but as you know and mentioned, not not an option. Ram Wrangler. That is a good example. I do wish they were a little more value driven, though. Kobold Taskmaster. What does that do? Give two health. It's a good idea. Yeah. But I don't think it's good enough. Adds a good keyword here, though. Just doesn't really fit our game plan super well, right? I mean, I think I think this is potentially enough, right? I'm running quite a few anyway, naturally. It's five, seven, nine. That's theoretically enough, but then also school teacher generates two, that's eleven. Battle Vicar, maybe let's say one on average, that's 12. The Blessed Goods is actually 13, because I can always get secrets off that. Ashara can make a one mana card, right? Isn't the Tides one mana? That's 14. I think in theory that's enough. Could do something like run a Mistress of Mixtures in there too. But I feel like I actually need a little bit more late game value. Like, yes, the hero power will grind people out, but it doesn't always give us, like, oomph, you know? Like, we need, might need something that's really oomphy. Shara's kind of like that. You know, we see people run... Kazakasan for that sort of package. Kariel normally, but I, I don't think we could do Kariel here. True, the spells are one mana off Queen of Shards. So it's even extra. Yeah, that's a good that's a good point. Really even more than we thought. <sighs> Maybe just like some discover options can help us find that sort of stuff, right? Discover a Kazakasan would not do enough unless I also added um I could go for a Kazakasan endgame, but I don't really need that, I don't think. That feels a little too greedy, but I don't I don't hate a bronze explorer, honestly. Uh, what's one good legendary here, guys? I'm thinking like maybe four drop Cariel is just a generally good card. Fills a gap in the curve a bit. Tyrion, Leviathan, Prester. Somebody mentioned Prester earlier. I didn't really want to make it a Prester deck, but I don't know. It feels weird. Just aren't a lot of um, end game engine cards, you know? There's just not a lot of end game engine, like stuff that powers your end game. There's only a few, few options specifically. Anything else that like makes our tokens better? Like maybe taunts them up or. Um, Yeah, Phelan's actually Phelan's a decent example of something we could use. Yeah, that's a four drop as well, and definitely shores up the value a little. I just think the the one ones will help grind people down, but I don't know that they'll often just win outright. But we'll see. Okay, so this is a control quest paladin. <clears throat> this is gonna be awful, but I actually think it'll be kind of fun I, I i like the idea of this a lot i think this is gonna be a cool deck i only have about uh, i don't know about 25 minutes to play this by the way and then we're gonna do a discussion i gotta do for a video then we're gonna talk about overrated cards so next up i have some other um some other decks guys like do any of these sound interesting to you guys um Uther versus Lazul. 
Coil Fang Battle Cry Shaman, like a disruption shaman with a Coil Fang Constrictor. I wanted to run Ulthok in a zoo deck to see if you can make Ulthok feel like a Blotheb style finisher. I wanted to make a control demon hunter, probably like a fell control demon hunter. Big spell shaman with like the quest. That actually sounds pretty good. I kind of like that idea. The new five drop spell. Any of those four ideas jump out to any of you as really cool deck ideas just planning for later. Zoo Olfak sounds interesting. Okay. All right. We'll keep quest. <laughs> School teacher is probably good too. Uh, we're not in a super hurry for quest line here. We're playing this like a control deck. So we're taking our time on quest. Something we want to get done eventually and create like a really good grindy hero power, but not something we have to do immediately. I'm curious if we're going to have enough. Oh my God, dude. That's so gross. I am really curious if we're going to have enough survivability tools. I mean, you know, we've got city tax, we've got Maki roll, we've got bronze explorers actually looks pretty good in this board, for instance. Will that be enough or will we need more? Will that get us by? Light rays can be kind of cool. A little bit of a counter taunt. Okay, looks like my dude's gonna live. That's cool. I could use that Maki roll about any time now. <laughs> Please. I already need it. So this is good though too. I guess they knew that had life steal, but I don't know. Didn't seem to react to it at all. Probably just didn't have a mechanism to, right? Kazakasan? Uh, if I could amalgam this Bronze Explorer, I could get a Kazakasan, but I kind of just don't think I'm going to need that this game. I think this is more about tempo and stabilizing and stuff. Counter tempo, I guess. How does Attendant work with Cariel? Does it add extra damage after Cariel's or before? That's a great question. I don't know. Excellent line of inquiry. I wish I knew. Mm. Malios could give me like a Maki roll in a pinch, I guess. I don't know. It's very expensive. I'm not, not in love with that, but. <sighs> Big taunt, I guess. I don't know. Man, these dragon discovers are not great. Might like Naga discovers better in the future. I don't know. Get a Queen of Shara or something. Phelan for my deck. Wow, dude. They're going to pivot this into a value game because they got a freaking Phelan, dude. Whispers of the Deep. Not bad if it kills the lifesteal. It does. Beautifully executed, sir. We could city tax that, but I think we're okay. I, I might just play the Rice Destructor if I don't get a good Naga here that answers it. Um, plus two, plus two does give me a decent trade here, but I don't, I don't know. City tax number two. It's great for a quality. And heals if they get a wide board. I, I think that's safer. Hard to, hard to know exactly what we want to do here. Because if they don't go wide, that obviously feels a lot worse. But oh my god, dude. This is that Kibler deck again, isn't it? It's not really a smirk deck. The Void Touch is kind of a misdirect, I think. It seems. Now, do Nogglings count as separate procs? Probably not, since their name is the same, right? Thinking they won't count. As separate procs, but I don't know. Pick me! Pick me! I don't know. I'm scared to test it because I don't want to waste it, you know? Probably won't, though, is my guess. Yeah, Nogglings can't keep secrets, yeah. They always know. <gasps> okay. City tax trade here is kind of good to clear both of these. I guess I don't feel great about the fact that 
I'm not advancing quest in that case. Um, at least we don't we don't think I am, but maybe this is a good chance to test. I guess we could just go Ivis as well. Ivis is pretty nice here too. Then I feel better about quest later. Okay, Ivis does work by the way. Some of you guys were asking. I I, I thought he would, but he did he didn't get rush. You're kidding me! Oh my god. I don't really have a lot of urgency to kill that because the faster I kill it every time, the sooner it comes back. That said, uh, it's, you know, like it's just healing a lot as well. Uh, I guess I'll kill it. I don't know. Feels bad, but this, this is nine damage that might stick for a while. So let's just hope it doesn't show up for a while, I think is the answer. Is this not even close? To, I haven't even cast one spell since that Ashara showed up, dude. Okay, I'm glad I took some big, thick dragons. I, I, I wasn't expecting to need to, frankly, but it seems to have panned out. Um, man, <laughs> this sucks. I don't have any good one costs. Um. I wonder. I don't think there's any reason to hurry though. We're just kind of chilling, right? Like, no, no big hurry here. Do we need a dredge card to make Phelan feel worth it, or are we okay to just bank those at the bottom for a while? It's a good question, Regis. I wish I knew the answer for you, buddy. Dude, these whispers to clear it felt good twice now. I love whispers as a card anyway. That's such an awesome card. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna dump the dragon, dude. I kind of want to wait to play the Mally until I have a mana to empty the hand some. So I can play like a blessed, uh, well, not a blessed goods, I guess. Well, yeah, I don't know. There aren't that many spells in my deck. I just realized, like, we're kind of not that high on spells. Void shard, void shard. That we can live with. That's okay. That's not a problem. They're getting really low on value here. Do, do, do. Quality city tax is an option now, but it feels so premature, doesn't it? Mally draws one, no, three. That's not bad. Do I rip a Maki roll here as a waste or not? So I just burn whatever's on the top. I guess I could play the Naga Link, worst case, just to make sure I don't burn a card. I got the city tax back, so I still have a removal. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just dump this. Pick me, pick me. Card off the top is pretty good. That big old heal one, baby. Okay, uh, so now we're finally gonna have some uh, Queen of Shara activators. That's nice. Although there's this apparently already done. That animation was crazy. Uh, we could do a Finley. Yeah, I mean, he's one mana, so. It does fit for sure. Oh, nice, okay. This is a totally fine equality clear, so that's good. Plus goods will get us next step of the quest as well. If I don't decide to play Queen Ashara, which might just make more sense, I guess, huh? I don't know. Either way, we're happy to have a board clear here. Oh yeah, we're actually gonna get another step going too here. This is really nice, yeah. This is really nice. Okay. Okay. One more step till Cariel. Uh, we can go Ashara, Queen if we want, or we could just try to get a Cariel, I don't know. City tax trade to draw a little here. I'm sure our light raids are down to zero, right? I feel like I've played so many cards. No Holy Maki rolls though, which is like, I think that's what's supposed to make this deck really good, but. Just a noggling? Like, what is it? Oh, secrets too, of course. Yeah, and blessed goods. Yeah, they're actually going to get a lot of value here. Actually, not too bad. They also know, and I know, that that's Noble Sack and Reckoning. So we got to remember that. Which means this will die sometimes, but not if they got a 1-1 on board, but I can hit that. That's fine. 
Okay, it's two one ones though, unfortunately. I mean, I have city tax again. I can just clear these, I guess. When I say noble sack and reckoning, right? Yeah. Maybe this is just an Ashara. Maybe it's just an Ashara. Why is your animation all wacky? Would really love to get a brand now, dude. Sigil? Z logs fun, okay. That's shuffled, didn't it? So that's actually one way I can get my my dudes dredged up, by the way. Consecration for this other quality seems seems fine. Yeah. Give me that brand, baby. I mean, we'll probably still play this with Zola, if not brand, right? So it's fine. As long as we're ahead, we'll have time to play it. So could actually go for the mega board already, honestly. This is going to get reckoning off anyway, which that's fine. Uh, we don't know what that other secret is, though, do we? Actually, maybe I just Z log here, man. It's really good, right? It's, it's kind of just better than Cariel here. Because it's just eight damage face. I mean, I feel terrible not playing my cards, though. Um, I'm going to play the cards, guys. I'm going to play the cards. Yeah, I don't know if I Zola the Cariel now or if I just play Standing Against Darkness. Probably just Zola now. I want to play for fun a little bit, right? I, I'm going to be honest. I think this is the worst play. Or not the worst, but a, a worse play than, uh, than just playing Z-Log. I mean, it's not necessarily because it is just 13 damage next turn to hit, you know? Or even more, 15 damage next turn to hit. Z-Log kind of does 8 plus 7, you know, sort of like 15 again. But the Z-Log scales if they can't answer it. This does not scale quite as much. Whoa. Okay. Okay. All right, now I can just kind of take that dude back. Take Ariel back. I do lose the little attack, of course. Dude, a brand right now would be so insane. Nelly, dude. Um, I, I mean, I think I just play Cariel again and farm the hero power, right? Like, it's kind of ridiculous at this stage. I lose out on any sort of brand play, but I mean, it's just their five fives anyway at this rate. So who really cares, right? I don't really need to get greedy. Of justice hangs heavy. Avenged? Oh, dude, well, imagine if it had buffed my unit. Oh, that would have been so sick. I didn't even think about that, but that's really cool. Would have been so sick if it buffed my 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay. Now I'm making two 5-5s five every time I push the hero power button. That's pretty insane. <laughs> Two mana, ten tens galore. Uh, okay, finally parked that reckoning. Yeah, that's good removal for me. Do they have like a whirlpool in this deck? I don't, I don't know what they have access to. Gigafin! I don't have a way to snipe that. Unfortunately, right? I have to, I have to kind of kill it straight up. Which, I mean, that's fine. It's not a not a big not a big ask really i mean i'm not losing to i mean i'm losing a board but i just reload so fast and easily yeah you could snipe it with z log yes oh, is that worth the risk though i mean it's not a terrible risk because i can play a light ray anyway it's not like i'm taking a totally zero turn 
kind of don't hate it. <laughs> but I won't even get I won't even get anything, though, if I play Z-Log hardly, guys. It, it'll just be no minion space left. So that's not really worth the trouble. That's not worth the trouble, guys. <laughs> it's like we're, there's only two board spots left. I think it's like a 1-1 one, one and a 2-2 two, two or something. It's not even good. Good units. I mean, I guess I'll get. Move quickly. I don't know. I'm just going to do it straight up, guys. It's fine. We don't need to get fancy here. No need to get fancy here. Wait, this still works? Oh my god. I didn't know this still worked. I actually thought it didn't work if they died at the same time. Oh, well this is even better. I didn't know it worked this way. After all this time, I thought I thought you had to kill the one first. I guess their death rattles Gigafin enters play first, so his goes off first. I don't even know. Everybody in chat seems surprised too. <laughs> I guess I didn't know. I guess I didn't know. This is a fun little mini game, dude. Look at this. <laughs> I just clicked off like 30 straight death rolls and did nothing. Oh, that was delightful. Okay, well, this is a lot of damage. It's lethal. They don't do anything. Well, I guess they have a heal. It's not lethal then. A little off. 15, 29, 30, 32 or something. Not quite there yet. I'll save the weapon just in case. Man, I haven't even played. I haven't even been able to play a minion in two turns, dude. Come on now. <sighs> Glug is fun. Not enough, of course, but fun. Well, this game went just as perfectly as I ever could have dreamed. Double carry out was beautiful. We stayed alive through that early push. A plus game, honestly. A plus. I'll play one more quick game. Then we got to do this uh, discussion for a video. You guys are going to be in a video. Your beautiful words. And sometimes, frankly, stupid words. <laughs> we'll be in a video. Congratulations. Some of you have stupid words. Some of you have beautiful words. Just depends. Just like you taught me. You're I'll fight hard, just like you taught me. Okay, let's do one drops here early. Paladin? I mean, Mech Paladin, Holy Paladin. I'm not really good at answering either of those, probably, but. Okay, that's a great opener. It hits Blessed Goods, especially. I think we like it a lot. Detector's certainly good, too. Yeah, I'm feeling sassy today. It's the weekend. I get sassy on the weekends. <laughs> the light dims. I'm your favorite bearded guy with glasses. That's actually saying a lot. Because there's a lot of bearded guys with glasses, I feel like. It's pretty high praise in the scheme of things. Uh, two mana holy spells. Sad. That's no fun. This is a mirror match? <laughs> they didn't play quests, so I doubt it. <laughs> Alright, Blessed Goods still really- Oh, this doesn't count. Oh my god, we whiffed hard, dude. That sucks. Reporting for duty. Do, do, do. Double two drop, dude. That's brutal. Terrible draw into it, too. Like, where is my Blessed Goods, man? Really? It's not too heavy. <sighs> Alright. At least we're not like too far behind on board early. That's important. Hey, one drop. And this one actually does count twice. So that's kind of nice. We could trade first without really losing a lot here. Oh, do we save it for this though? This is so much better. Yeah, I'm going to tempo this and hope it lives. I think there's a pretty good chance it lives actually. We're better off keeping a dude alive just in case it somehow lives to the carry L. Because now I can I can proc quest. I can uh, draw. Oh no! Can't do anything. 
All my dreams are dead. Yeah, okay. This is so far away. I don't know. So far away. I could have just waited on it. Maybe I should have. I don't know. It's a much worse play in some respects, right? But better in others. Okay, so at least we do have the queen into the one drop next turn. Like, that's a really good turn six for us. Um, I honestly probably should have hit Cariel there. I would have healed two of it off immediately, and it would have gave me better trades, potentially. This is just max, but with a slow start. It's tough. A quality is not really that good against max, unfortunately. I decided to go face. Okay. We have plotted long enough. Now we rise. Tidestone is so perfect for this deck. It's really pretty crazy. Ooh, Light Ray is a great card. Okay, that's a really good hand. So quest will obviously be done soon. I think the question is, how do we navigate this in the meantime? Do we just kill this? Let them hit this again? I mean, there's not usually that many meaningful discounts in Mech Paladin. The battle. So in a weird way, I, I think I like this more. Just let them have that trade, but I obviously need to hit the shield regardless because otherwise the trade's free. So Light Ray is going to be awesome. Maligos might be really cool soon too because we got all those one mana spells in the deck, right? I actually don't know what that's going to be. I think it might be minion. Maybe I can get a cheap minion here. Divine Shield minion could be a click clocker. Well, let's just see, right? Okay, that's actually good news, because now I can play this for one. Which I think I want, right? Just get another quest tick here. It was going to be zero if that didn't go that way, but... It was going to get countered, obviously, if it wasn't a spell, so... <laughs> I think this is the preferable outcome. Anyway, anyway, you shake it there. Anyway, you shake it. Okay, I need one more one mana spell, one mana card here. I'm a little off, unfortunately. I have Bran Cariel at that stage, but I'm hoping these one ones can hang around for this equality to make an impact. Or maybe I just hit like a city tax or whatever, I don't know. I don't really have any good ones left. Righteous Protector, School Teacher obviously could do something cool. I'd probably have to. Oh my god. I really need the equality bad, huh? That's a big boy. Okay. I need city tax, please. Well, that's a one mana card. That, I guess that could be worse. Is this, what does this do? I don't have any of those in Paladin. Does it just do nothing? It literally just does nothing. You are joking, dude. <laughs> no! It literally does nothing. So I'm just dead. I'm just dead. I'm just dead. Wow. I thought it might give me like a random assortment of, you know, like give me three random ones from other classes or whatever. Wow, I'm just dead instead. Dead instead. Maybe they'll, uh, maybe they'll miss lethal. I don't know. I really, really doubt it when I'm at six, but maybe they'll accidentally BM and proc uh, Galloping Gideon, right? Alrighty. We're going to play more of this deck. I think this deck is actually awesome. Even that game, we were kind of in it, honestly. Like, it wasn't that far off. But it's really fun deck. A control quest paladin is really enjoyable. So we'll play more of that. That's going to be awesome. Uh, in the meantime, though, we're going to have a chat. We're gonna do Regis talks about stuff. You guys are gonna help me talk about stuff. Uh, so let me get you guys set up here. Boom, you're set up. Nice. Okay, guys. So, you're gonna be on YouTube. Yay, you're all celebrities. Just like me. 
<laughs> you're all just great famous youtubers just like me because uh, i am definitely famous <laughs> Three people know who I am. <laughs> Being sarcastic, obviously. So we're going to talk in this video. I need to actually give... Hold on, let me wipe my head first. I need to give a little bit of context here because uh, this is a video series I do every expansion talking about the most overrated cards. So indeed, in this video, we're going to talk about the most overrated cards from Voyage to the Sunken City. Now, I'll be honest, it's taken a little longer than normal to get to this video. So this is going to include a little bit of a confusing set of data. I actually did have the foresight to grab the played data for these cards back before the round of buffs hit. You guys remember we got a bunch of buffs to cards like Zlog right here behind me. This data was collected before that. So this is more of the sort of initial expansion season data. So this is capturing expectations pre-expansion versus the reality right after the expansion. So in other words, Zlog was rated at 3.9 stars by the Hearthstone community at large based on an average of rankings from a few different sources. And in reality, he was absolutely not a 3.9 star card before he got buffed zlog was the 121st most played card of the expansion as you can see here uh, 121st out of 135 cards at the time of course from the base expansion set so in the bottom 15 cards of the expansion but he was rated as the 56th best so well inside the top half but in reality, it landed at the bottom 15. Now, the real mark of shame here, <laughs> the real mark of shame is that I gave Z-Lock five stars. <laughs> and uh, you guys, as a, as a Hearthstone community as a whole, and not maybe all of you individually, but you know, on an average, you way overrated Z-Lock. 3.956 was way too high. That's like literally twice as high as it should have been. I rated him even higher, and I'll tell you why. Because he was like one of the first Colossals, maybe literally the first Colossal that got revealed. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so hyped about these Colossals. I have to give this guy five stars. But to be honest, I actually thought Zlog was going to be really good because it felt a lot like Priestess of Fury. Uh, if you guys remember Priestess of Fury, the the uh, she's had so many different stat lines now. I think she's currently a 6'5". She does... Uh, six damage to enemies at the end of turn, you know, the kind of ping, ping, ping effect, the super arcane missiles effect. I thought this was going to feel like a Priestess of Fury, but basically with more total stats and more total bodies. So I thought it would be like harder and more awkward to deal with. And in some ways that's true, but also it's a little less reliable and just less total output. And the world of Hearthstone has shifted a little bit since Priestess of Fury was a really good card as well. So, of course, now in the future, we know this got buffed. They damaged up the stocks, damaged up. They doubled the damage of the stocks at a base level from one to two. So now Z-Log does four damage. Instead of doing four damage, Z-Log does eight damage. And that's a much better play. And now Z-Log is actually a really good card. Z-Log is getting played at a high level. Um, in Fell Demon Hunter, it's actually currently kind of the best deck in the game depending on the day and the moment but fell demon hunter right now best deck in the game z log is a part of that deck one of the core cards all it took was doubling the size of the effect <laughs> and suddenly z log is a good card so yeah this one was vastly overrated you know it shows what a buff can do shows what a change can do uh, this card will get worse as time goes on. I, I think that's probably fair. Yeah, as, as things get more refined. Cards that are like just dumps of stuff aren't as good in like highly synergistic packages and metas. This one doesn't rely on a lot of synergies. It's just sort of like, hey, I've got this thing I'm going to play at the end of my curve, plump it down and hope it kind of gets there. That will probably get worse over time. I agree with you. As the card pool expands as we move in through rotations. So yeah, Z-Log was actually the... Uh, least overrated card in this video. We're starting at the least overrated. We're going to go to the most overrated is going to be the final card of the video. So, and by the way, that's determined based on the difference between the spot that it was rated by the community and where it was played. So this is a difference of, uh, 
what, uh, 65 spots, right? This is 65 spots lower than its rating, ranked wise. So 65, the next card, as you can see, is 66 spots lower than its rating. Whirlpool was rated at 4.2 stars by the community. Uh, that landed at the 29th highest rated card. So in the top 30 cards, of the expansion, that's pretty good. That's that's up there. That's where you would expect cards to be in a very playable state. And in reality, it landed at the 95th most played. So uh, outside the top half of all cards, nah, you know, barely, barely making the top 100. I personally gave this one three stars. It felt a little slow to me. And remember, this was nine mana. I actually probably should have included the nine mana version here. I didn't include the correct version because people were rating the nine mana version. I rated the nine mana version. As we know, Whirlpool has been buffed to eight mana. And guess what? It's still not very good. <laughs> it's uh, it's still not getting played a lot in the larger Hearthstone meta. Uh, we can actually look up that data real quickly. Whirlpool is currently in 2% of decks. Now, there is a little bit of a saving grace and a hope for this card, because if you look at Priest decks specifically, it is in 28% of Priest decks. So once you you know filter down to Priest specifically, basically the control or slow varieties of Priest are playing this card. Now, they're not doing so very successfully. It's, you know, it's got a 47% win rate, but its strong win rate is high for the deck. So it does seem like it's one of the better control Priest cards and probably quest priest even more specifically as one of the eight drops you need to finish quest so you know that's a good sign for the card at eight mana it has a utility in quest priest it's a little bit better at eight still not an amazing card still not a 4.2 star card but it's hopeful and on that note we should say just because a card is appearing on this list right now it doesn't mean that this card is doomed forever or that it will never be good it's just not good yet so so far it has been overrated. Um, can I bet that the most overrated would be Captain Rokara? Captain Rokara is not from Sunken City. <laughs> Why are we doing this again? It's only Sunken City cards. It's only Sunken City cards. So do I think Whirlpool will be good eventually? Uh, it's still going to be hard. You know, cards like this need the right sort of metas. And tend, those tend to get harder and harder as we go deeper into a card pool because there's more and more synergistic stuff, more and more powerful combos, more refined aggro decks. Cards like this are often just too slow in, in bigger card pool metas. You need like faster removals. You might need like a five mana removal spell instead of an eight mana removal spell. So I don't know that Whirlpool's ever gonna be a 4.2 star card, but it's still, it's cool. It could be a combo disruptor if it, you know, destroys stuff in deck. There's like cool things it can do. So anyway, currently overrated might stay that way is my is my guess next up uh this one was uh not especially highly rated but i still thought it was noteworthy for one reason this is the at the time i gathered this data this was the least played card of the entire set it was ranked 135th it literally is last as chat says i have never seen this card in my life so basically the epitome of a one star card, right? Uh, obviously last place, you, you got to say, basically a zero star card really at the, at the time of data collection. So 3.7 is not an especially high rating. You know, it basically landed exactly halfway in the pack. 67th is um, about as close, 67 and a half would be split down the middle. So it's barely in the top half of cards, but in reality, the actual least played card of the entire set when I gathered this data so clearly not living up to a 3.7 star rating. And uh, this one's all about like cheating out these uh, spell schools. And I think best case is like big spells specifically that you want to cheat out. And there just aren't a lot of big spells right now to cheat out. We just got one in the mini set, the new five mana spell. Uh, it's a nature spell that summons a couple five, four rushers. Like that's probably a good card for this. We're going to experiment with this a little bit probably in the next week or so. So, you know, if this gets a big fire spell and a big frost spell that are not risky to play because it's chosen randomly targets, right? It needs the right sort of stuff to be interesting. Then it could live maybe in like a clumsy courier space where it's a seven mana card that cheats out some big crazy stuff. Um, and it is a copy too, so it's not like you're losing those cards in hand. So 
it's kind of cool. I don't think that'll ever be a high tier, high meta thing. It's not like going to be a tier one deck, but could this fall into like a tier three space where it gets some play? I don't think that's impossible. It just it just needs the right package of cards. So keep an eye on this uh, this archetype, the fire frost nature archetype, because that's in, in shaman. It's going to show up again. We'll talk more. Going to close Hearthstone in the background there. All right, next up uh, is Bottom Feeder. This one, uh, this one's interesting. I, I really thought this card was going to be better. I don't know why I only gave it three stars. Is this right? I don't think this is right. I think I, I think I got the wrong. I think I got the wrong date on here. Hold up. I'm pretty sure I gave this four stars and forgot to update that. Give me a second. <laughs> I'm gonna check this live. If I were doing this in a recording, I would just go and fix it. But I think I gave this four stars. I don't think there's any way I gave this this three stars. No, I did. I gave it four stars. Okay, so ignore this. My rating was four stars uh, because I thought bottom feeder is just, you know, one mana, one three is good in uh, aggro decks. Uh, we've seen a lot of beast aggro -y druid stuff leading up to Sunken City. So this seemed like it fit very naturally in that, like almost ignore the death rattle. Like, yeah, it's an upside, but who cares? I care more about just being a cheap beast. Um, but it turns out there's other good cheap beasts that just do the same thing, but better, like Druid of the Reef, right? Druid of the Reef was getting played and not just in aggro decks. It's being played because like, hey, if I can make copies of these as 3-1 rushers with um, Oracle Valoon in my like slower Druid deck, I can still use that for a big swing, you know? And Bottom Feeder doesn't have that immediacy or that reactivity. So this one was rated 4.1 by the community. That's for 37th highest rated card in the expansion and reality landed outside the top 100. Really wasn't getting played at all. And I don't think it is even now, right? I, I don't think I still see this played. There were uh, like some of those beastie druids popping up that were very fringe meta cards. Um, yeah, unfortunately, bottom feeder is still only in 0.1% of all decks. Even if you filter down to druid, only in 3% of druid decks right now. So still not getting played and the data does not look good for it. I, I don't know when this is going to get there if it doesn't already get there. I feel like it's just kind of lost it's just not fast enough takes too long for these stats to scale out it's just uh, you know it's it's just if it had taunt or something like it might make more sense right then you can make the stats make a more immediate impact but every time i've tried to play this i felt the same way it's like oh these stats are just sitting there and they're hitting me and i can't do anything so that lack of reactivity so yeah, this is looking like a two-star card, really. And, you know, we all gave it four plus, so definitely a little overrated. I think we were kind of baited by the beastie druid side of things. All right, next up is the Black Scale Brute. This one was rated four stars by the community. That's uh, inside the top 50. In reality, in the bottom, what, uh, 13 cards? So, you know, bottom 10% basically of all cards. Despite being guessed at the top half, uh, I, I've never seen this played. I played this once in duels, one time. I put it in a deck. I think we played it one game, and that's literally all. <laughs> I've never seen it in standard a single time. Um, so currently, this is even a two-star rating feels a little high. This is kind of in that one-star range, really, at the moment. Um, and I don't, I don't know if it's going to get there. I, in theory, there's still some interesting things about this card to like. It's, it's just, you know, a couple big five sixes. It can react immediately and it has taunt. So it's like kind of got that magical spot. But I, I guess maybe the, the weapon condition was just too much for this. Like having a weapon equipped on seven. I don't know. It just, it just sort of fell through the gaps. Maybe this is one of those cards nobody really needs. I, I was thinking about this versus like, um, title revenant the new card that that uh that just came out in the mini set the eight mana five eight that has battle cry deal five in a lot of ways title revenant sort of does the same thing as this card like yeah it's a mana more but if you think about it right the five six rush is kind of like dealing that five damage on the battle cry the eight health you gain from title revenant is sort of equivalent to like having taunt on board for six um now obviously it's like yeah there's you know one body instead of two there are situations where that's better but but it's not conditional you know you just kind of have it it can go face so title revenant is sort of in that same sphere but less conditional and probably has more overall utility and, and sort of flexibility in how it gets utilized so title revenant gets played and black seal brute does not 
Um, no weapon would make it a three star card. You don't even think it'd be four with a, without the weapon condition. Yeah, if this just straight up said taunt summon a five six battle cry summon a five six naga with a rush, would that be good? I don't think I'd be over over the moon about that. If you think about like the new shaman card they just got, the new uh, summon two five fours with rush for five mana overload one, that's kind of in a similar space to this again. This has a little better stats, but it's you know seven mana instead of five. It's coming down two turns later, basically. So. Yeah, I don't know. Do you guys think this one will ever turn around? Will there be some kind of like weapon package that makes this worth it? I, I don't really think so. I don't I don't think this payoff is significant enough that even when the even if the condition is easily achieved. I don't really think you're getting enough back out of this card. I, I don't actually see this one coming back to life. You know, I want to be hopeful for a lot of these cards. Um, oh, whoops. Spoiler alert. Uh I'm not actually very hopeful for most of them so far, though. Wrath's Fine Enchanter, I'm kind of intrigued by. Like, I think that could get to some kind of playable tier three status, but I don't know. I don't have a lot of faith on most of these so far, but we'll have some later I think are going to be going to be good. All right, so since I spoiled it, uh, next up is the Glaive Shark. This one was rated at 4.4 stars, good for the 23rd highest rating in the expansion by the community. And Reality Land's right about the 100 spot just inside the top 100. Uh, I also gave this one four stars. This looked like it just did a lot. It's uh, basically a consecration on a stick with what I think is a pretty easy condition. Attacking in Demon Hunter is not especially hard. Uh, in reality, uh, it's it, let's talk about this. This card is too slow for Demon Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> this like if you go back in time and look at this card like years ago you would lose your mind but in reality it's a little too slow for demon hunter it's not fast enough uh, actually puffer fist kind of came along and did the same thing with a repeatable effect right puffer fist only deals one so you know in some ways it's worse but um but sort of repeatable and one turn faster. So it helps you snowball sooner. This this starts to feel a little bit more like a recovery card as opposed to a snowball card because it's not repeating. It's one time. And Demon Hunter has been more about snowballing and winning early and utilizing that early advantage to hit you a lot as opposed to playing a little bit slower and kind of re recovering in the mid game. So Glaive Shark, I think, just kind of fits on the wrong side of that equation. Where it's more about that swing or recovery as opposed to... Um, initiative right so i don't know just not the right side of the puzzle there i don't know I, three mana would be too good for this i don't know when demon hunter decides to run this though i mean like maybe a more mid-rangey list but the list is already kind of mid-rangey fell demon hunter already plays pretty mid-rangey I think just the one-time effect of this is just maybe not enough. I don't know. This card still just seems to make so much sense in a vacuum, but in reality, like, imagining board states where I want to play this, I just don't know how many there are. It's kind of five mana if you only have hero power, right? That's one thing. Like, you have to have the weapon equipped earlier. That's not, not a big concern, but... Too many three drops with high health. That's a good point, is that the like shape of this removal is not well positioned against sort of those singular minion boards that we tend to see. Or even like, you know, if you think about Rogue, right? Rogue is playing three threes and four fives, you know? Even Demon Hunter one drops are three health now, with like the, the Slither Spears. A lot of stuff has three health. This is kind of an awkward shape. That's a good point, like... Just the damage might not be enough. And then like Puffer Fist did a similar thing, but again, it was quicker, it's repeatable, you know, it's more about face damage in a lot of ways. That's a good, I like that thought, yeah. I think they could buff this card, honestly. It's crazy, because we rated it so high, but in hindsight, it feels like it could be buffed. I'm not saying it's never gonna get played, though. It's still a high output card overall, just shaped weird the numbers and the sort of costs are all just a little awkward for it i think all right next up uh this one's a really interesting one you may be thinking wait a minute i see this card all the time you might be right but we're going to talk about it 
Uh, this one's Swift Scale Trickster for Rogue. Uh, rated at four and a half stars by the community. A lot of people, too, thought this was like OP broken. A lot of like five star ratings in there. That's good for 17th highest of the expansion. Uh, at the time of the data collection, this was the 93rd most played card. This was not getting played basically at all. Uh, when the data was collected again, that was pre patch where a lot of stuff got buffed and nerfed. So uh, this was still like in the demon hunter meta and uh, like, like a lot more mechs and stuff. Rogue was still like tier three. Rogue wasn't where it is now when this data was collected. So I will say this has certainly changed a little bit, but even though it has, we're st there's a lot to talk about here. So if you look at this card now, It's actually one of the most popular cards in the expansion. It's in 13% of decks. And if you go to Rogue, even more specifically, it's in over half of Rogue decks. So right now, you would actually say this is a very played card. This card has actually gotten played a ton. It would not be anywhere close to 93rd. It's probably like 5 or 10 or something. It's way up there. So it, wouldn't, it, would, it would be living up to its 4.5 star rating. But interestingly enough, it's actually not in a very good deck it's in an okay deck it's being played in jackpot thief rogues um basically thief rogues that are running the jackpot package and these aren't the best versions of rogue these are like the greedy fun versions of rogue and particularly this list as you can see very popular ton of games of this list People are running this because it's fun, not because it's the most competitive. If you look at the like highest win rate versions of Rogue, they don't have Swift Scale Trickster. Like here, we can actually just do this. Hold up, let's go to Rogue. Uh, where is Rogue? I don't. What is Rogue's icon? My God, Rogue. We look at the highest win rate decks. No Trickster, right? They're much faster decks. They're leaner. They don't run Jackpot and they don't run Trickster. They just want to go faster and kill you sooner. So it's interesting that. Swift Scale Trickster is actually still not a particularly competitive card. It's okay. It's, you know, it's it's still a tier three deck in that version of Rogue. But people are running it because it's so freaking fun with Jackpot. And like the greedier Thief Rogue is so fun. So, you know, this is probably still not a four and a half star card by any means. It's probably like a three and a half, maybe four star card, depending on your perspective and argument and day. But it's just played a lot because it's fun. So it's it's really interesting to see that change. We got one card to come along and kind of support Swift Scale Trickster with Jackpot, and suddenly everybody's playing it. And that's awesome. I love that, by the way, that people are sacrificing win rate just for enjoyment in a you know less competitive but still climbable deck. I think that's so sick. That's really cool. I love seeing that. So probably still technically a little overrated, but less than you know initially. That that first wave of the expansion, this was not played at all. So very cool. All right, next up, uh, I think this is the second to last card, if I recall. I think there's only one more after this. We gotta hurry too. This one is Kotori Lightblade, rated at four stars by the community. That left it inside the top 50, but in reality, it was in the bottom five cards. <laughs> like the least, I think probably the least played legendary, actually, of the entire Sunken City. Now, this one, I, I went to bat a little bit against the like YouTube comments on this one. I gave this two stars. A ton of people were calling me stupid, insane. I got this one right. Obviously, I don't get them all right. Z-Log, I got super wrong. You could have gone, you could have gone at me for getting Z-Log the other way, like giving it too high of a rating. Um, this one felt just awkward and slow to me, like this kind of two mana overhead that, you know you kind of want to use as a snowball card, but you also have to spend a ton of mana all at once to make it good. It's not like survivable on its base level. So you kind of have to play it with stuff simultaneously. Just felt really clunky to me. So far that I, I think that's been the experience of the meta too. It's hard to get this in play. And it's funny because the package that came out to support this so far, in other words, uh, gardens, grace and immortalized in stone, the kind of two, big spell or big spell holy synergy things. Although I guess Immortalized in Stone is not directly related to this, but buffs Garden's Grace, which Garden's Grace is related to this. So it's kind of that package, although indirectly. Those are getting played. Like the, the holy stuff and the enabler for Garden's Grace is getting played, but Kotori just doesn't make sense in the list. He's just too much opportunity cost to overcome for this one. You'd rather draw something else that's better, more immediate, more impactful. 
Uh, now, could that change? I, I don't actually still ever really see this card getting played a lot. I mean, there might be a critical mass of like cheap, efficient, holy spells that, that would eventually make this worth it, but I don't see them committing that hard into it. I, I don't really think Kotori is going to get there. What do you guys think? Is this guy going to turn around and actually see some play? Or is he doomed forever? He does have a cool lightsaber. <laughs> yeah, I wish he was going to be played. Yeah, I would love to put this guy in the thumbnail. I mean, I don't even know if I've ever played this, honestly. I don't know if we ever got around to it. Uh, we'll go back to it as we get more holy buffs and stuff, but maybe we could try this in duels as well, but just not enough holy spells. You think it might get fixed? Librams would have made this good. Yeah. Zero mana Librams might have helped. You basically, I think, need zero mana cards for Kotori to get there because if you're spending too much mana otherwise, it's going to be really tough. Take out the holy requirements? Oh, interesting. Yeah, you'd rather play your big buffs on Smite? It's a good point. I mean, you can play this with Smite, but why would you need to if you're ending the game with Smite? <laughs> it's like, that's a pretty good point. Like, yeah, okay, I can buff the Kotori along the way for two extra mana, but why? What does it do? Giving him Divine Shield would help, I think. Yes, because then you'd have some survivability and you could maybe tempo this out a turn early and then follow it up with the buffs. Right now, it's just like you got to play so much stuff. You got to have this and another minion and the buff all at once. So you're committing like so much to get it to work. And it's just hard to get all that down in one turn together. So if you could do it preemptively, I think that would definitely help a lot more. Yeah, Bolner has four health. Exactly. Bolner's a similar kind of card uh, in a lot of ways. Repeating effects and... So if you can tempo it out, you have so much more mana to work with. It's so much easier. So I would say for sure a health buff here would go a long way, but it's possible there's that critical mass of holy spells. Let's just wait and see. So final card. Radiance of Ashara rated at 4.6 stars. I gave it four stars. I think I was pretty dang close to giving this one five stars as well. I thought it just seemed insane. It does so much. Fire spell damage. Nature spells cost one. Frost spells gain three armor. Like, that's so much. It was rated as the 10th highest card of the expansion, actually outside the top 100. And I thought, man, has that changed since, uh, <laughs> since we got, like, you know, balance changes? It has not. 0.2% <laughs> of all decks right here. It's in only 0.2% of all decks. And even if you go to Shaman, it's only in 3% of Shaman decks. So this is not an issue where it's like, oh, Shaman's not good enough. There are burn Shaman decks running all of those spell schools <laughs> and they're kind of fringe meta, still not getting played. It's just not good enough. It's just not good enough. Oh, whoopsie. I'll go back. That's a custom card background. Don't get don't get alarmed. We're not going to Shadowlands or something. It's custom cards. Don't I, I know people are gonna freak out. Oh, I don't have a thing, so. Uh so I, I think the, the maybe the problem with this card is it's one of those like Jack of All Trades, Master of None situations where it's a little good at everything, but not that good at anything. That might be the issue. The other thing I wanted to talk about with this card is this was definitely a mage card. There's like no doubt that this was supposed to be a mage card and it got changed late in the late in the experience or whatever. Um, there's two reasons we believe that the, the flavor text says uses arcane fire and frost magic. Why does it say arcane? That's weird. That's a mage triple threat, not a shaman school thing. So that's strange. Number two. If you go to the Radiance of Ashara character in World of Warcraft, it's an Arcana Mental. It's an elemental who is built on Arcane. I would say that Arcana, but for the sake of Arcane. It's Arcane based. So again, even the character's roots are centered in Arcane. The artwork, as you can see, is Arcane energy being swirled up. Okay. It clearly used to be a mage card and they swapped it. I don't know if like maybe Savara swapped. I don't know like what swapped in or out, right? They must have decided it was like too good in mage or spell school stuff was scary in mage or the design kind of fit shaman. 
So I bet this used to say your arcane spells cost one less, or, you know, maybe it's been tweaked more. We don't know, but... And this could have been very scary in Mage with, like, more mana cheat and more cycle and, like, doing a lot of stuff all at once, right? I could see this being a lot scarier in Mage for sure, particularly, like, Naga Mage just popping off with this, you know, squeezing in a ton of extra spell damage and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Spite Lash Sire in support with this would be crazy. Quest line was also probably really scary when this was getting worked on as well. So I think it shifted over to Shaman and maybe it just kind of lost something in the process. And like the nature spell discount in particular doesn't have that same like chain ability or cheese ability as you might expect with Arcane or Mage. So yeah, I guess it just does a little bit of everything, but nothing that well. Although I still think all of these effects look independently like kind of insane. I, I still wouldn't be shocked if this card pops up like I wouldn't count this one out. It still does a lot. Even just fire spell damage plus two could be good enough in a deck eventually if they they print some some more fire burst damage stuff. So yeah, currently overrated. One of the, the most overrated. As you can see, this was a difference of 96 positions here. Crazy overrated. But I, I wouldn't count it out. I think this one has some chances. But it's just crazy how the story of this card is clearly... Clearly mixed up in mage somehow. I don't know what the story is, but some kind of conspiracy there. Curious to hear your thoughts. So guys, I gotta go. Good video. Thank you everybody for chatting, hanging out. Uh, I will put this up actually on YouTube tonight, I think. <laughs> so stay tuned. Uh, I need a video for today. That's why we're doing it now. I'm gonna drop you guys off in a raid though before I go. Uh, enjoy the raid. I will see you all tomorrow. We'll probably play some Marvel Snap tomorrow alongside Hearthstone. I wanna get some Marvel Snap in. And... Uh, I hit, I hit uh, Infinite again in Marvel Snap so we can play some weird decks and try some weird stuff. Although I did that a little bit yesterday. It wasn't working out super great, but we'll we'll figure it out. I could use your guys' help. So Marvel Snap tomorrow probably. Hearthstone tomorrow probably. So on. Anyway, enjoy this raid. Love you guys a ton. Thanks for chiming in on uh, the chat and stuff. Always appreciate your help. The videos are they're watched notably longer when you guys are there. People like reading your thoughts and bouncing off of me and stuff so you guys are a great service there thank you love you a ton thanks for the bit subs follows kind words all that great stuff i will see you all soon thanks for watching and until next time game on